It's June 8th, 2017. And we're taking a look at renovation white clover. This particular clover was planted in this bucket on March 1st, 2016. So it's a little over a year old. As you can see, it's going to flower and some of it's already uh, past its flowering stage. We're going to go ahead and take it out of the bucket and look at the roots and see what we find. So we'll go ahead and just uh, see how we get it out of here and evaluate some of its characteristics. See what we find. One of the things that this clover is known for is having significant stolen activity. So we're going to try to pull away some of those stolens and look at how far they might spread. Now, in a bucket, they're going to be confined by space. We're going to just see what we can find. One of the things that you can see here is here's how these varieties spread by stolons. So if you look here, as these spread, they then put roots down of their own. And these roots go very deep. Then off of the stolons, off of these petioles, then stolons come up with the with the flowers. down here. There's a long hair-like root. So this is in a little bucket and it looks like it's uh, it's made good use of that. We'll see what else we can do. See all these roots. You can imagine what this, the benefit of this for, for soil stability, for erosion control. You can see how, that how well that's holding the soil. You can also see how it's permeating the soil with just a magnificent amount of roots. Look at all those roots at the bottom of this. It's an enormous amount. And this is only in just that size of an area. So you can imagine what the benefits would be in a pasture or in an area where there's a, uh, used as a living mulch or again as erosion. So I pulled these out of the soil. Fortunately, the soil was nice and dry and it was easy to uh, take them out um, uh, of the soil and you can see there's quite a bit of plant material this one you can see how long its, its runners are but let's hone in on this one for a minute and maybe we can identify some characteristics if you look right here this seems to be the main base of the plant and off of that plant you can see some good strong thick roots and then a lot of fine roots off of it and if you'll hone in you can actually even see um, some of the nodules off of the root hairs so the nodules uh, off of the root hairs and as mentioned before the root hairs go very long very deep 
and this when they went as deep as the bucket they would obviously have gone deeper still and here's what happens on the top on the top you have these branches that come off those branches run along the ground and then you can see what they'll do is that those branches will then put out roots of their own holding them to the soil and also very important holding the soil to the plants you can see how this benefits with erosion control then off of these branches new shoots shoot upward and that's where you get new leaf activity and these can be these can be grazed down all the way down to the growing points and be able to shoot off new shoots that's part of the reason why this variety can be grazed very well and still have a lot of regrowth these growth characteristics where you see that the leaves are coming off of these branches they're also producing if you notice flowers off of these branches. Those flowers are very beneficial for reproduction. So this plant, in order for this plant to survive here and to last a long time, it has many, many resources. It has a deep taproot. It also has branches where it's branching out. Those branches are creating their own set of roots. They're also creating their own set of flowers and leaves. And these flowers and leaves will then be able to be their own sources of photosynthesis as well as reproduction. That means that something can happen here and, it, and you still have this plant being able to survive and to flourish and to reproduce. Because of the way this grows, again, these can be, each of these uh, leaves can actually be grazed down very low and the point of growth is still not affected so they can have tremendous regrowth. So this is an inside look again at renovation white clover.